It's a calendar. What a useless thing to have in 2020. Here we go. Look at this. Remember January? That was a good month. Right, hello, everyone. I'm back. Um, me and Jason together made this like really cool video about vintage Barbies, but the quality of it was so bad that I couldn't edit it because it was over Skype. And I didn't. I never told him that because I felt really bad because we spent a lot of time on the video. So. He'll probably watch this and find out. But, um, so there was a video in between this and my last video, but it was very poor quality, and therefore I have not uploaded it. I'm hoping once, you know, we can leave the house again, we can do it in person together, which would be really cool. Um, I'm coming here today with a box opening. It's one of my COVID panic purchases. It's my Eiffel House Ron FID. Um, he's right here. I've removed the outer packaging already because I just, I didn't want to, I didn't want it in my life. I just wanted it to go to the trash can because I don't know what's on it. It's a calendar. What a useless thing to have in 2020. Here we go. Look at this. Remember January? That was a good month. And then February. She's pretty. Then things, you know, started, started going bad. March shut down April still shut down and then here's May I think people started opening up in May June here we are June that was a bad month for coronavirus wasn't it July another bad month for coronavirus and uh, here we are in August still out of control here in America. This is the most useless thing you can have in 2020. Goodbye. All right, so here's my box. It's a big box. It's still got some bubble wrap on it. Kind of go ahead and remove that. I did remember scissors this time, but I'm still ripping it open like an animal. Here's the front of the box. I think that's the guy on there. I just really liked his nose. I feel like I've said this before on this channel, but like I buy dolls because I like their noses. So here, here's the box. Let's go ahead and open her up. And we see this delightful stuff. Foam. This stuff is great for like cleaning your makeup brushes. So if you want to clean your makeup brushes, keep this stuff. It gets it up real easy. Oh my God, he's so big. It's gonna go nice with that that girl body if I ever get the um, oh my god He's so big and he's so veiny Here's my little assembly manual and um, COA here I know That's fine. Here we go. Look at that Very good. Great. Who cares? Um, that'll stay in the box in my closet till the end of time. Oh my god, he's so big. Here he is. He's in the box. He's in this, this foam. How delightful. Um, in this little pocket we've got eyes, eye putty, and some stringing stuff. Let's pull him out. Let's get him out. Of course I got blue eyes when I really wanted brown. I feel like everybody wants blue eyes. And then so, you know, they, they, they sent me blue eyes, but I want brown. Um, it's a little low. It might just, I don't have any big dolls, so it might just be the way it is. Because I see, like, when people open their big dolls, they flop around a lot. It's from the weight of the resin, obviously. But, let's see. His feet are enormous. I definitely have shoes to fit these, because every pair of shoes I buy are enormous. They're nice, though. He's really cute. I'm happy I got him, even though, you know, when you're poor, you're unemployed. Alright, so here he is. He's gonna move back, let's see. Always blown out. There we go, that's a little better. Here he is. He's very stunning, he's already covered in dog hair. Um, he's got like, his resin's got like a little like grit to it, which is fine. It's just different from what I'm used to. He's very like vascular. Can you see his veins? Look at that, that, that there. Um, 
It's a very vascular fellow. I got like the slimmer body too, hoping he would look a little less vascular, but he's still very vascular. Um, so let's just do a little posing. Here's his head. Pretty standard head movement. That's down, that's up, side to side. It's not great, not too much. Um, and then we've got this chest piece. This is the part where I was like a little loose. So forward, it does have notches back here, but I don't know that they do much because they're like kind of shallow. I guess they hold them. So there's that, side to side. Mm, that's nice, it works nice. Um, let's see, it's elbow range of motion here, this one. So there's the first bit you gotta pull out to engage on these guys, which most dolls are, but I just find it annoying and I can't do it. So there he is, that's as far as I'll go. It's not like the best range of motion in the world, but he can almost touch his face, but if he lifts his arm a little bit. Um, so that's fine. Here's his, and I got the less jointed one because it was cheaper, and in this color because it was the cheaper of all the colors. So there's his leg, he can hold it out straight, that's as far as he'll go. And it does have seem to have some sort of clicking action in there. Yeah, in this inside there, he's got a whole bunch of little holes that for the leg joint to sit into. So that's that's good. And it's not so heavy that he can't quite hold it by himself. So there's that. Eh, I guess it kind of is. I think if you're a strong little tighter, it might be a little better. No. So here's the knee. It looks like it's a single jointed knee. Nope, double jointed? Hold on. It's double jointed. But it's very, very hard to engage. You gotta pull it all the way out and then shove it in. It doesn't stay. That's probably about as far as I'm gonna get realistically. Let's try one more time. Oh, wait, wait. I'm careful. Nope. So I know that these bodies like aren't the best posers, like I've heard that, but like aesthetically, like this is what I like, that sort of fashion-y, like small proportional head to the body sort of look. So I was willing to forgo some of the posing for like the aesthetic of the doll. And maybe like with some hot glue suede and like a tighter stringing, it doesn't want to stay like that. But in a tighter stringing, he'll be a little better. I'll definitely be suede him. I need a project, as we all know. Always need a project. Um, it'll be a little bit better. So there he is, neutral. And then his feet, I mean, that's more range of motion than I actually thought I was gonna get out of that. So that's all the way up, neutral, down, nothing. Look at his face, he's so cute. Look at his nose, it's such a good nose. All right, he's very stunning. So that's him. I've never had a boy doll before. This is my first one. I have ordered that um, doll she boy probably about 10 months ago now from BJ Divas and they will not give me any information. They say that they don't have any information on him and they're still waiting for dolls from two years ago, which we all know. Um, but doll she said if they could give me the, the number that corresponds with the doll, then they would look it up for me, but BJ Divas won't do that and I just feel like that's bad customer service. So this is my last purchase from BJ Divas. And I know other people like say they're great and everything and have had great experiences, but I'm sorry. Like if I can't get any information on the doll I ordered 10 months ago, that's not good customer service to me. And honestly, like I'm tired of paying for service that I'm not getting. I have the proper color eyes for him that I bought. He's just a little, just look horrible. I don't think so. Let's look inside the head. Here's inside the head. Not much going on in there, pretty standard. Here's his head cap. Yeah, so he's gonna be my sort of like androgynous boy. He's gonna, you know, sometimes dress in boys clothes, sometimes dress in like fabulous kimonos and things. I just, you know, wanted to have a boy doll in my collection because I only have women. And he's gonna look so good with that serial color girl that serial killer girl's head ever shows up. Still in the mail, being posted from Russia. It says, the last tracking update says it left Russia on 
June 18th, so I feel like she said probably about like two months, so I mean maybe it'll show up. All of my other Russian packages showed up, so yeah. Let me just grab some things that I bought for him and we can try some stuff on. Alright, so I put some eyeballs in him really quick. Anybody who knows me knows that I really struggle putting eyeballs in, so they're not good, but I need to take the head off and spend a little time on it. Oh, reposition those eyeballs till I start to cry. So let's see some of these clothes. It was like a, one of those sort of like guessing games with clothes. I'm like, what's gonna fit him? And like I picked up some like one four scale stuff and then I picked up some one third scale stuff. And so we'll see, we'll see like some ladies one third scale, so. Well, he's in it. This is one of the kimonos that I bought for him. He's too broad on top for it really, so someday when I have money again, or a job, you know, those things, I'll buy him a bigger one. But he can put his arm out and he looks pretty good. But like, this is his aesthetic. <laughs> That's just the easiest thing I had to put on. Now there's a lot of struggle bus stuff, so. Yeah, so he's not quite, He's not as small as like a regular 1-4 doll. He's also not quite as big as an SD, so it's like, he's in between sizes. So let's see what else we've got going on here. Some of these things I bought from Sartoria J, who actually makes clothes for the FID size dolls, so these will definitely fit. So let's just put an outfit on him. Let's put an outfit on. I have another video I really want to do because me and Jason made a whole bunch of clothes for the Etsy shop that I need to photograph because I have all the supplies except I don't want to so I haven't done it yet but maybe I'll just make a video to start off and that'll like inspire me to go ahead and take all the photos and I've got like a couple of like other little little projects that I've done that I'd like to show so maybe we'll make a couple videos out of it. I was too lazy to like steam my green screen, so I didn't use it. But I really would have liked to have used it. <laughs> so this is a shirt by Sartoria J. It looks stunning on him because it was built for this size doll. I just like want this next thing to work, but I don't know if it's gonna. These are for an SD doll, so clearly they're like a little bit too big, but I think I can salvage them. I can take them in a little bit, shorten the straps, because like the bottom half looks good. So if they just get a little alteration, I think these will be cute on him. I wanted them to fit him so bad. <laughs> they're like a ladies uh, SD size doll. So I think that'll work. Let's put the pants that I bought for him on him because I know those are gonna work. They're black, so I'm scared. I've been, um, during you know this time that I have washing all my black doll clothes so to you know try to get like some of the extra layers of color out of out of them but uh, what happens is is the color never stops running and I'm not sure why like why does it never ever stop so I, I got a pair of jeans for one of my dolls that was sitting over there that I washed them and washed them and washed them and the blue color the, the, dark blue was like just still running out so I'm like maybe I just take photographs of those and then take them off because I'm scared I don't want to steam my dolls oh my god these look so good on him for anybody who doesn't know Sartoria J they make like really nice nice clothes like very nice and they're not cheap but they're very 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 nice so here he is dressed up in the outfit made just for him he looks very stunning and gorgeous. Let's just pull him back. I have some shoes here. Let's see if these shoes fit him. I think I've complained before, but the shoe situation for the ball jointed fucking dolls, man. I just can't, I can never, I never end up with the right size, no matter what I do. And they're just hard to put on too, which just like makes me want to give up because I'm like lazy. And they always look like they have clown feet. Like, I don't want my dolls to have clown feet. I want their shoes to fit them properly, but there just aren't shoes, unless you have them made for your doll. Who the fuck can afford that? And that's just like one thing, like, you know how like, when you have your dolls, there's like things you like to do with them and then things like you don't. And sometimes there's just things that you like never care to ever do. 
I don't want to really make shoes. I sculpted that shoe one time, it was fun, but like, I'm talking like, I want sneakers for my dolls. I'm never gonna make a fucking sneaker. It's never gonna happen. Go in, you bitch. Fucking go on. Haha. -ha. Does he have clown feet? Probably. I got this shirt too, but it looks giant. But I think I can take it in. I think this can be, this can be salvaged. It's just very long, very big. Those buttons are huge too. I'll probably take it in and replace all the buttons so he doesn't have clown buttons. I'm so tired of all the clothes not having like the scale that works. I want things that are the proper scale, proper fucking size. I don't understand why it's so hard. So I did like a big haul. I bought the doll, which was too much money to spend. And then I did a giant haul from like AliExpress and Alice's collection. So it's like, why? Why am I doing that? It's because I'm sitting at home and I'm stressed out and the only way to fill the void is by shopping. It's fine, it's fine. Someday I'll work again. That house I was saving for is never gonna happen, but I'll have money again someday. I have applied for th three or four jobs during this time period. Didn't get any of them. Obviously, or I'd be there right now. All right, so here he is with shoes on. I think, does he have clown feet? I think he does. The, I just don't understand why, because they really fit him quite well. Are they clown feet? Yeah, they're clown feet. But he's, he's just got clown feet. He's a clown feet boy. Yeah, so he looks great in this outfit. I hope these pants don't fucking stain him. Here's his shoes. And you know, he's just, you know, he's a fashionista. So yeah, that's him. That's him in an outfit. Uh, it's his beautiful face with that stunning nose. Look at it, look at it. It's just such a good nose. And his crooked eyes because I can't put eyes in a head. And yeah, there he is an excellent purchase. Now I'll be able to play with him, paint him, and give him a great life. Let's go grab. I'm just gonna go grab. Let me go grab. Here she is. Here's the girl body. <laughs> Pretend she has a head on. Here's him. I think they're gonna be like a nice little couple. So he'll be like in on her murders, or maybe he'll be the one who gets murdered. I don't know. I'm like, I made this little shirt. A little shirt and these pants actually these are great pants there's a store in aliexpress and they sell like three three clothing items in the whole store but one of the clothing items is these pants and i was looking for like sort of like a 90s cut jean uh and i could find them but they weren't reasonably priced they you actually send these people your doll measurements and then they make you the pants to fit your doll and they're only like 18 dollars, which is worth it like, could I make these myself? Absolutely. Do I want to? Absolutely not, because I'm a lazy piece of shit. Um, and then these shoes were, I'm sure you've seen these shoes before. They were those ones, they were white and they had like flowers on them, but they weren't her style. But they were also the only shoes I had that fit her feet. So I painted them and gave them this little fringe. So that's one project that I've been working on and I really like them. I think they came out quite good. I'm happy I didn't just like buy something because I have, I have, the skills to do it myself. I can paint, it's not that hard. So yeah, they're gonna be cute together if her head ever comes. I just like, want her head to come. Um, yeah, so that's the video for today. I'm gonna come back soon and do a video about the, all those doll clothes that we sewed that'll be for sale on the Etsy. Just lazy girl me. I did that body blush of my twins, which came out really good, but it's just such a waste because I know like as I touch them and play with them, it's just gonna wear away. But yeah, that's the video for today. Stunning boy, can't wait to paint him. I'll be back. All right, so everyone have a great day. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe. And, you know, see you soon.